most apartments, the power may cut off, you know, or the uh, water may cut off, unless you're paying like big prices for rent. But the standard apartment, those things happen. So it's best to ask the neighbors when you're looking for a place, hey, how long does the water cut off over here? For, for how long does it usually cut off? They're going to be honest because they're not trying to sell you the apartment. And then, um, you know, just ask them about those things. Like, how long does the lights cut off? You know, how, how is the neighborhood? Is it safe? Like, the things that are important to you, you go ahead and you ask your neighbors, like your potential neighbors, hey, what 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 is good and what's bad here? And the agent can't stop you, like... So it's, it's up to you. You're going to pay your money. So I would say do that because I didn't do that moving in here. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a while since you've seen me. I've been going through so many things in my life, my personal life, both bad and good. And yeah, I just wasn't in a good mind frame to like really shoot anything. I wasn't inspired. But recently I've moved into a new apartment and this is my second apartment since I've been in Ghana. And so I just want to give you guys some insight, some tips, you know, the differences between renting in the West which I grew up in America and renting here in Ghana. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So number one um, tip for renting in Ghana is to use a trusted source. Um, I wouldn't get a, an apartment through word of mouth unless you know I've had experience in that, you know, unless you've been living here for a while and you've gotten to know people that you can trust. But if you're just first, if this is your first time coming to Ghana and you're looking to rent an apartment, I wouldn't go through word of mouth. I would go through Gigi. I use Gigi personally to find this apartment. And um, the best way to look for an agent on there is to like, you know, go to uh, an agent that has like many good reviews and this agent that i chose had really good reviews everything they said about the person it was true um you know and you can just basically just gauge the reviews and like really tell yourself like are these real reviews you know um and you can tell like you just gotta have to use your your common sense like when it comes to that your street smarts and i could tell that this person was genuine um so yeah that is number one make sure you use a trusted source i wouldn't go through word of mouth i wouldn't go with an agent that doesn't have reviews like i would absolutely choose the best um recommended uh agent that i see there and um most agents they take um 10 percent of the rent and then they take 100 cds for each viewing so that's the common price if you they charging you any more than that then uh you don't want to go with them yeah so you pay the agent 100 cds per viewing and 10 percent of the commission of the the rent so the yearly rent you have to pay them 10 percent of that when you rent the apartment so um i paid about over a little bit over a thousand cds i believe so yeah that's that's the uh, the common procedure. If they charging you any more than that, it's absolute scam. But um, yeah, just go through a trusted source. I use Gigi um, and get someone that has reviews, okay? And some agents are known for driving people to places that they know is not even a potential for the client. And they do this to collect agent fees. So if you look at some of the reviews on Gigi, you'll see that some people complain about um, them taking, trying to just, you know, take them astray, take them to pointless places just to collect the fee because they'll rather do that than to actually do the real work as being an agent, which is looking for a place that you actually like. So, yeah. That's it. So, yeah, what I did is just WhatsApp them. I sent them a message on WhatsApp and then I went ahead and um, 
sent them the listing that they put and I asked them like, is this available? And they were like, yes, yes. And then we set up a time to meet. I, I was punctual, he was on time. And uh, yeah, that's because when I read the reviews, they said he's very punctual, he's on time, he's professional. And he is y'all, he's helped me since I've been here because my lights cut off and I didn't know what where my meter was. And he was available to through text to help me. And the person who rented me the apartment wasn't even available um, or reliable in that moment. So yeah, like just trust the reviews you see um, and just use your common sense y'all. And just know the common procedure, the common payment that they're supposed to take. All right, that's number one. Here in Ghana, like, everything is, like, cash-based. I mean, they do do some mobile payments, but there's no debit card, credit card. And uh, the process is much faster when you rent here, you know? So you don't have to go through much paperwork. It's just a very simple contract. Uh, they don't do, like, background checks. They don't do as much as America does. So, yeah, it, 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 I guess that's okay with me. I mean, as long as it's elite, you know, everything is legal, like I'm fine. But the, the process is much faster here. Um, and then as coming from America, you can kind of like have some mistrust there. You mistrust things that you don't understand. So we didn't grow, I didn't grow up in this environment, in this country. So. I'm not familiar with the process and everything. So when things were done so fast, I started to ask questions like, is everything legit? You know, because it's moving so fast and I'm not used to this because in America, they collect the first month's rent, last month's rent, security deposit. They want to know the last three jobs you've worked at, if you're able to pay the bills, but everything is just done in cash and they just collect everything up front. So in a way it's good, but just know that when you pay for the place for a year, unless there's like some legit reason for you to get a refund, they more than likely not going to give you a refund, you know, unless there is some issue in the apartment that you have no control over. I've been heard they will refund you, you know, if those are, if they are responsible for the problems. But if it's things like that you're just not comfortable with, like the water turning off for a little bit longer than um, anywhere else in Ghana or the lights may cut off for days not at my place like the lights don't cut off here more than like 30 minutes so far <laughs> I don't know so um yeah you, you 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 have to pay up front all in cash so it is like one of those when you buy a car and you say it's as is it's as is because you once you accept it that's it you already pay everything up front in America it's month to month to month. So if anything goes wrong and they refuse to give you a refund, then you can take them to court. But here things are just done faster, quicker. It's like, you know, it is gonna be different for you. So just keep that in mind. Okay, now going into the next tip, which kind of goes hand in hand with the ones, the last tip is um, do your own inspections. Make sure when you're moving in, you're satisfied with the place because if once they collect your money, you're accepting that whatever is in this apartment at this moment, I'm okay with it. If they give you any false promises and tell you like, oh, once you, you know, later on, um, after I get your money, I'm going to fix the place, then by law, they don't have to give you your refund because once you inspect the place yourself, um, that's it. So make sure you do deep inspections. Is there cracks in the roof where roof, roof rats can crawl through the roof? Because they have that here in Ghana. Like some people build their roofs with softer material where critters can crawl through. So when you get in a place like that, which would more so be in like the beach areas, places where they don't use like the strongest materials for the building, like make sure all of this stuff look look under the cracks the crevices you know see if there is any like signs of pests bugs ants my apartment had an ant problem i absolutely hated it like it but you know i didn't observe these things when i was moving in and honestly i wasn't being too picky for my first apartment here because when my parents moved to america 
our first apartment was was like the least comfortable place we've ever stayed in. The place in Jamaica that we had was much better than that apartment. Like the, we have a you know a yard to run in, like in Jamaica. But we went to from that having our own bedrooms and all of that to now moving to America where we my brother is sleeping on a pullout couch and you know there's like me and my sister sharing a room and she's 16 I'm eight years old like you know it wasn't a comfortable situation but when you move to a new continent you have to spend wisely so there are sacrifices you may have to make based on your budget and it doesn't matter what your budget is you should just really like cut that in half when you move here to Africa because any you're just learning the environment anything can go wrong financially you know you may be scammed you may you know run into some issues with your bank anything could happen so just be prepared for that and make sure you're living you're like where you choose to live the first time you're not trying to impress and keep up with the Joneses because I swear to God you're going to be going home before you know it because I made that mistake in Tanzania and I'm just telling you guys just learn from my mistakes because you don't want to do that and I wasn't trying to impress I honestly felt like I had the money to spend and you quickly learn like money goes quickly here because sometimes they don't even charge you the rightful price like they're going to overcharge you you got to learn the environment learn the prices learn the culture like there's a lot you got to give yourself that learning room that space to learn the environment first, yeah. Um, yeah, so that that's another tip, okay? This kind of goes with the last tip as well. When you move, when you're looking for a place, when you contact the, the agent on Gigi, he takes you to an apartment. Most of the time, they'll let you walk around the complex. If you have a complex, they'll let you walk around. If it's a standalone building, they'll let you, you know, go for a walk. You have a time, that time, use that time to Try to find a neighbor and ask them questions about, you know, your requirements because most apartments, the power may cut off, you know, or the uh, water may cut off unless you're paying like big prices for rent. But the standard apartment, those things happen. So it's best to ask the neighbors when you're looking for a place, hey, how long does the water cut off over here? For, for how long does it usually cut off? They're going to be honest because they're not trying to sell you the apartment. And then, um, you know, just ask them about those things. Like, how long does the lights cut off? You know, how, how is the neighborhood? Is it safe? Like, the things that are important to you, you go ahead and you ask your neighbors, like your potential neighbors, hey, what 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 is good and what's bad here? And the agent can't stop you. Like... So it's, it's up to you. You're going to pay your money. So I would say do that because I didn't do that moving in here. And it was just, you know, one thing so far is like can be a little irritating, but that's because I wasn't prepared. And that was with the water situation. So most apartments, you need a water reservoir. Um, I think I'm saying it correctly, but it's just like a water bucket to keep the water you know, extra water around just in case it turns off for a day or two days, you know? So it's best to be prepared. So that's why you should ask your, your potential neighbors, hey, what's going on over here? What are the pros and the cons? What should I expect? Yeah, that is the best tip I could give y'all. Okay, so this is the last tip that I have for you guys. And this is most apartments come unfinished. Now, it doesn't even matter like how much you're paying, but usually the standard prices, the people who are paying standard prices, like they um, usually have some things that may be unfinished, or I don't know if it's because like the apartment I'm in is kind of new, so they don't have like air conditioner set up. Most apartments don't have an air conditioner, unless you're paying high end prices, but they usually have a fan like my last apartment had a fan and I was paying three times as less three times less than what I'm paying now so um mine doesn't have a fan so I have to get that installed so I have my stand up a, a stand up fan standalone fan or whatever you call it and then um I'm gonna get one for the living room but eventually I want to get an air conditioner because my living room only has one window but my bedroom has two windows. So I'm like, 
Okay, cool. Yeah, so there are some things that you may have to install, but the fan shouldn't cost more than like 500 CDs for the fan and to get it installed. And the air conditioner prices I see range from like $300 to $500. And um, to get it installed, I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing it won't be any more than like maybe 500 CDs, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, so all in all, you know, you're going to end up paying, you know, like less than six, between six and 800 maybe to get that stuff like installed, depending on the quality you want. I, I don't need a high quality air conditioner for a small room, so I would get the one for 300 no problem, you know, get to keep the fan in my bedroom because my bedroom stays pretty ventilated already without a fan, without, I mean, air conditioner, so, you know. Um, just keep that in mind when you come, like, don't be alarmed, like, damn, I don't have a fan, I don't have an air conditioner, I don't have, like, what? So, I don't know, I think it's because my apartment is new, because, like I said, the, the apartment where I paid cheaper, a cheaper amount, I had a fan. So, these are just some tips for you guys when you're renting here in Ghana and some things to look out for and i hope i was able to give you guys insight today if you like this content make sure you like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching my name is lala's journey and i will see you guys later one love bye